So guys, let's start the session now, and we will complete this topic today. So, student, when I am just talking about this particular topic that is controlling, first of all, we need to understand the meaning of what is control is all about. Okay, first of all, when I am just talking about controlling, controlling is basically more associated with, as we know that for any organization, the companies are basically always setting some standard up front. okay for example if i'm talking about a particular quality uh, assurance company or you can say a manufacturing organization where the quality of the product is basically one of the prime component or prime consideration uh, uh, guys as my voice is not clear rajula is saying that can i have a confirmation guys is my voice clear or not it's clear okay rajula please check your connection then so when i'm just talking about this particular portion of controlling controlling is basically nothing but uh, i think i have given an example of uh, the particular plans of the particular company let us suppose i'm talking about an organization and uh, company is basically dealing in manufacturing sector and in manufacturing sector the company is very co uh, concerned about their cost of production cost of production but should uh, it means that your cost should be as minimum as possible but it does not mean that the quality should be compromised okay the point of controlling is over there because whenever the company is setting a standard in the organization this setting the standard is basically nothing but creating a benchmark in the organization and each and every employee of the company must need to follow and adhere the benchmark which is set by the organization now whenever the company is basically comparing the standard plan or standard uh, which is been set by the company with the actual performances that exactly will be the uh, will be the uh, you could say the purpose behind what the controlling is all about because controlling is basically one of the most important technique in order to manage the flow of the company okay because as per the original plan as per the standard plan that the company has set whether the things are going in the same direction or in the right direction or not that exactly will be the point of concern over here about the controlling and as we know that irrespective of any organization when we talk about service organization we talk about manufacturing organization controlling is basically always an ongoing process it's not a static process you always need to uh, you could say monitor observe the process of the company and those processes should be thoroughly analyzed and you need to come out with some conclusion that whether the particular company is going in the direction which is being set or the standard is the company has set for the organization so the very very simple example irrespective of any organization you belong to whether it is service industry manufacturing industry the controlling is one of the most important parameter to be considered is this point clear guys everyone what is controlling first of all and why the control is important to manage the flow of the company to set the standard in the organizations yes adam yes okay guys please can you confirm do you understand exactly what is the meaning of controlling okay perfect let's move to the next slide then that is about your steps in controlling process okay i'll just definitely quote one example up front of you 
and definitely we'll discuss about this let us suppose if i'm talk if i'm taking an example yes so first and foremost thing which comes under according establishing the standards okay standards for example let us suppose if you are uh, you could say uh, dealing in an organization okay and uh, you are manufacturing let us suppose one pen okay now pen usually basically when i'm just talking about the cost of production usually after actually uh, going through with lot of techniques and uh, the permutations the company found that the cost of manufacturing should be 6 rupees per unit the cost should be 6 rupees per unit now what exactly we are because what is 6 rupees indicates over here because for the particular manufacturing department of the company the company has set the standard that the cost should be 6 rupees per unit make sure if the cost is less than 6 no not at all a area of concern for the company but thing is that your quality should not be compromised your quality should not be compromised okay now my point is there because when i'm just talking about the setting the standard the company is setting the cost standard in the organization that the cost of manufacturing for that particular pen should be 6 rupees per unit okay definitely when we manufacturing a particular pen or any particular product we are using the different composition different ingredient to produce that particular product now once you set the standard that 6 rupees per unit let us suppose this is called the standard cost sc now when your standard cost you compare your standard cost with your actual cost you start comparing your standard cost with your actual cost okay now for example the 6 rupees is standard cost which you set now actual cost may be 5.5 it may be 6 rupees it may be 7 rupees anything it could be actually because the actual cost of production may differ from standard cost okay so you can see that measure the performance against standard we are measuring the standard cost with the actual cost comparing the actual performance standard for example if the 6 rupees is the cost extended cost and you would be able to achieve or you would be able to manufacture a particular product in 5.5 whether you will accept or not is it a profitable for the company or not without compromising the quality yes no accept reject standard is 6 actual is 5 5.5 sorry definitely you will accept it because you are having the benefit of 0.5 rupees per pen okay next example again you will also accept this over here because standard is 6 and actual is also 6 but if the standard is 6 but actual is 7 in this case definitely you will reject this particular production cost why so because the company is basically having minus 1 rupees of loss per unit of manufacturing of the pen so whenever we are comparing this now try to understand guys because when we are comparing the standard cost with the actual cost definitely the reasons may be anything the reasons may be you could say any controllable reasons or reason may be uncontrollable as well okay now in this case what would be the controllable factors if you want to reduce the cost of manufacturing anyone having any idea controllable factors technology you are using it out efficiency of the workers wastage of material uh we can say quotation from supplier these all are the controllable cost because which is in the hand of the company only but when it's come to yes it's definitely sandeep and when it's come to uncontrollable government taxation okay input cost change in technology okay this all would be uncontrollable so you need to take a corrective action now that how the company can actually reduce its cost without compromising its quality okay so this is a basic example about the steps of controlling process i hope you guys understood rather to discuss a theoretical point i think the practical perspective is very important
yes definitely machine breakdown policies of the company these may be dependent on the various factors of controlling am i clear with this guys everyone shall i proceed is the voice is breaking guys can i have the confirmation from all of you it's clear okay perfect fine guys shall i move to the next slide i think so okay yeah now characteristics of controlling now so characteristics of controlling basically it's talk about managerial process because controlling is being done by top management or the concerned authoritarian management or the person who has the authority or the company forward looking because it is always because whenever we are talking about the production capacity of the company the production capacity of the company is always based on the futuristic approach or the future policies of the company future strategies of the company okay exist at each level whether it is top middle or level because controlling is basically a pervasive function continuous i explained you dynamic process linked with planning because you know that because whatever plan the 6 rupees per unit is the plan for me whether we would be able to achieve it or not the mechanism of that would be comes under linked with the planning it is goal oriented goal means the 6 rupees you want to attain as a cost of manufacturing of per unit and definitely controlling should always be positive so that you you should not compromise with the quality uh, sorry with the profitability of the company in the long run so that is basically what the characteristics of control is all about can i have the confirmation guys it's very simple forward looking is basically based on future because for example let us suppose whenever the company is going for a mission tata we talk about air india now the government approach to control the cost of air fare especially tata i am talking right now the today itself the tata has actually take over the take over from the government when it comes to air india now what the major challenge up front for the tata is just to reduce the cost and to recover the losses which the air india has already suffered till now forward looking approach you need to control that you need to design the policies yes definitely it is all about budgets it's all about managing your expenses it's all about increasing your margins clear uh, mahesh i think any the point example is also clear Sure. Shall we move to the next slide then? Types of controlling now. Now basically there are five major bases we have of controlling. Controlling based on time. Controlling based on control. Uh, controlling based on designing levels and responsibility. We will discuss one by one. It's very simple topic now. The first is called on the basis of timing. Before process, during process, and after process. Now before process is called preventive. For example. let us suppose you are running a manufacturing company and uh, before launching that product you are going for testing of the manufacturing in the company because you are not commercializing that product you are not commercializing that product in the market but before launching that particular product into the market you are going to go for preventive because like for example any any particular vehicle four wheeler two wheeler is going to launch the company always go for the before process controlling controlling in terms of its quality cost mileage uh, the cosmetic features that the company is providing it to you that is called before process called preventive approach during process like for example during the process of that particular production unit if the company is making some changes that is called the during process called detective because if you found some sort of we could say loopholes some lacunas okay in such a cases you can immediately recover that you can immediately resolve that that is called the detective process then with the after process that is called corrective actions corrective means basically once the production is done after that you are getting the feedback from your customer 
that this product having these sort of you could say uh, negative points or the negative feedback and according to the company start improving that that is called the after process that is called corrective action so preventive detective and corrective based on the timing of production can i have the clarity please is this clear preventive detective and corrective sure Moving to the next slide now on the basis of control now. It includes your feed forward, concurrent, and feedback. I think similar to the previous one only. Feed forward means preliminary control because see guys, this is the same example. Detective pre preventive is basically nothing but feed forward. Preliminary before launching the product into the market, you are going for some key controlling mechanism of your company. Concurrent means ongoing. That is called detective during the process. And last one is feedback. When the job is over, now customer will give you the review about the same. That is called your uh, feedback. Or when the job is over, that is called your corrective controlling process. Am I clear with this, everyone? Sure. Next one we have on the basis of designing control systems. The first one is called market control. Second is called bureaucratic control, and third is called claim control. Okay. Now, definitely, I'll give some example to you for this. Now, basically, market control. Like recently, if you can see that we talk about the various organization, those who are actually uh, having very cutthroat competition with their close competitors. Like we talk about Jio with Airtel. Okay. They have very intense competition in the market when it comes to their prices. Recently, you can see that the prepaid uh, prices has been increased by Jio along with Airtel and the other uh, uh, telecommunication provider companies. The point is that controlling of prices, controlling of market share, controlling of your uh, marketing strategies, controlling of your uh, you could say promotional techniques. Okay, market control is basically more about capturing the market, understanding the psychology of the customer. According to that, you need to compete, you need to strategize your plan in order to set yourself, uh, you could say, as a higher aside with your competitors. Then is the bureaucratic control. Bureaucratic is very simple actually, because any type of you could say authority, rules, regulation, law. Or we can say uh, any particular, you could say structural changes in the market, like talk about GST in India. Okay, so definitely there are a lot of changes incorporated in India when you talk about taxing procedures. Okay, my point is that bureaucratic control is more about basically controlling of basically the legal system of the country. Clear, guys? I think. Think bureaucratic and last one is claim control. Claim is nothing but the base and the core of the company. Okay, now base and the core of the company it means that it's all about vision, mission, goal, objective, tradition, custom. Whenever we talk about the cultural values, ethical values of the company, when we need to change that because as we know that, like recently we talk about the example of Baijus and Akash, they have merged together. Now, definitely the values of Baidu is very different. Values of Akash is very different. But once they merge together, definitely you need to have a shared vision, shared belief, shared value, shared now. Because if things is not shared or things is not being, you could say, finalized when it comes to negotiation, you always need to showcase yourself as an individual entity, not as a separate entity. Because now the Baidu Akash is basically only one entity in the market. Clear guys, market control, bureaucratic control, and the claim control. Is this clear, guys? Everyone, can I have the confirmation? Sure. Next one we have on the basis of level. I think it's very simple: operational level, structural level, tactical level, and strategic level. Okay. So if I'll just name it out in a more simple term, strategic level is called your top management. It is called your middle level management. It is called your first line manager. It is called your first line manager. And this is called your lower level management. 
basically are workers of the company okay worker those who are working on the ground for the organization so any type of you could say controlling at different level of the company that will come under level uh, sorry controlling on the basis of level of the organizations clear